screw off the SIBO, you know what I mean? Notice to vacate the premises owner before April 1st? I can't believe Yes, it. hi, I am calling to speak to one of your lawyers who might specialize in eviction. We're not gonna accept this, I'm telling you right now. We shouldn't just be talking to lawyers, we should be talking to the newspapers or the radio stations. I feel really bad about this. What can I do to Hey, how help about you not guys? confronting any more paranoid How was I supposed to know that she was gonna come after me? And you said that she was harmless, so... Nobody's harmless if you attack them with a camera. I did not attack her yes, with Yes, we were being evicted from our building, and I was wondering if there's any way to And you know what? That? This would have been such uh -huh. a good piece. Has she not totally destroyed my camera? Western art will suffer. That's very funny. Maybe if you thought about how many lives you disrupted. Cut it out, Eric. Yes, tomorrow <sighs> at two would be great. Thank you so much. We have a meeting with the lawyer tomorrow. I just don't think we should see each other anymore. I, I don't understand. This is really hard for me because I really like you. I just have certain lines I can't cross anymore, personally or professionally. I don't understand because nothing happened. I had a moment of personal weakness, which I got over and which caused you and the band no harm it whatsoever. It caused us hours of concern and distress and anxiety when we should have been focused on what was really important. And for which I have apologized like seven times. I, just, I mean, come on. I've, I've had too much drama in my life, Lisa. I, I just got boundaries about this now. And if I, I should have never slept with you. This has nothing to do with that. Really? This is not about sex. This is about trust. Lisa, I'm sorry. I just, I, I really like you. If you only knew how much. I... I don't know. I talked to my sister, but she's already got three kids. I don't even know where we would sleep. You're not gonna have to move. And how do you know this? Well, you're a single mom, aren't you, Section 8? Yeah. He has to go through all sorts of bureaucratic hoops to find you alternative housing. He's not gonna figure all that out. We're gonna beat this, I'm telling you. Either that or I'll have to marry you. You? And what kind of provider would you be? Oh. No way I'm sleeping in the same bed with Jennifer, I'll tell you that. I hate Jennifer. She's an annoying pet. Consider the impact of our loads on the next seven generations. <laughs> oh. You're pretty. Men aren't pretty. You are. Hi, Andy. Hey, Andy. Hello, how are you? See you later, okay? Roger that. <laughs> yes, I am one of those losers who still has my teddy from when I was two. Sometimes I wonder if the whole point of life is to get rid of your delusions of security or just figure out the best way to acquire more. All I'm saying is that it's possible that we might have to move. OK, so we might have to move. Which would bring up a delicate and um, premature conversation. That you want to make even more premature by having now. Well, it's on my mind. Well, do you have a solution for it? What me? do you want to do? That's the question. Well, what do you want to do? Ugh! You expect me to no, make a decision? No, I, I don't expect <laughs> you to do anything. That's exactly what I expect you to do. Based on the unlikely event that we get evicted up? from our apartment building. I don't know why you brought it up. It's completely hypothetical. What did I do now? Listen, if you want to talk about it, I we should talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Excuse me, can I help you? Uh, we won't be long, you will wait, please. Hi, I'm Karen Clark, I'm buying the building. And in those few moments when security is no longer an option, when there is just acquiescence or rebellion. Well, at the moment you're trespassing, specifically in our apartment. Well, I wouldn't exactly call it trespassing. Well, I would, and I suggest you tell me whether you're leaving in the next 10 seconds or if I should call the police. It's entirely your choice. You are a problem maker. I know this. I can see what you're doing. I am not a problem maker. I'm a legal tenant in this building paying rent. It is absolutely illegal for you to be here without giving us 24 hours notice, and you know it. 
You are not a legal tenant in this building. She is. You have no say. She has say. Acquiescence looks like a terrible thing. And I say you have 10 seconds to get out before I call the police. One. Two. Three. Four. This is ridiculous. on such short notice. Well, it's not a great case. Landlords sell buildings. We have a couple of things to go on. First of all, there have been a bunch of condo conversions in the area. So we can try the neighborhood composition angle. That works 20% of the time. You can try to find a bunch of illegal stuff the landlord has done. He entered our apartment illegally. That's good. How many times? Once. Not so good. <laughs> did he sexually harass anyone? I can lie and say that he did. Did he fail to fix broken items, leave hazardous conditions unattended to? He never did anything about the mice. <laughs> Excellent. Allow anyone in the building without leases? Actually, most of us. We'll leave that out. All right, here's the thing. The best way is to prevent the sale. You have to let the landlord know you're not going down easy. If he has a buyer, make life miserable for him. Get the whole building together on it. Hang signs from the window, bang pots and pans whenever the buyer comes around. Make as much legal trouble for the buyer as you can. We've scared a lot of buyers away that way. This is so cool. Fredonia's going to war. <laughs> Marx Brothers. You got it. <laughs> Dork Brothers. by the light of the moon.